Addiction is a pattern and we being human, we love patterns. Everything that is on the same line, it's something that we like. We like things to be constant and the moment that we get out of that constancy in our life, that's the moment that we feel stressed, we feel overwhelmed, we feel anxious, and we feel just not in place. So the reason that we like addiction is because when we do something, it always stays aligned. And we like to go back to it to get that same feeling, same feeling. But the problem is that addiction is not a straight line, even though it's a straight, but the thing is that it's downhill. So it takes us off of what we want to achieve. Maybe not in a spiral like we see with other things, but still it has an angle to it. And we go down, 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 down to a point that we lose control of ourselves. We get hurt in our relationship. We get hurt in our work, in our school, in the things that we want to do or we want to accomplish or we want to achieve. So one good way that we can understand our addiction and we can help ourselves get out of that constancy that we're used to is to understand our thinking pattern. Think about it this way. Imagine if we're trying to go camping and I tell you that we're gonna go barbecue and have an amazing barbecue at our camping site. But here's the thing, don't worry about anything because I will bring everything for us. It comes that day, we meet up at the park and I'll come out of my car and I'll bring you the best grill, the best of the best, best charcoal. I spent thousands of dollars on my equipment, but I forgot to bring you any ingredient. I didn't bring you any meat nor any sauce or any seasoning. Can we really barbecue now? Think about it. Even though I have spent thousands of dollars on my equipment, they're pretty much useless and we can't barbecue because we don't have the main ingredient. And here's the thing that is really important to understand in life, in order for us to achieve our goal, we need to understand what is that main ingredient. When we're dealing about addiction, the main ingredient is the desire that we have and the response that we get from that desire. Here's the thing, a lot of time when we recognize recognizing that we do have addiction is when we recognize that something is affecting us adversely. Something is giving us a negative feedback in our pattern and is pushing us back. A lot of time when we feel like we don't have addiction or we don't recognize it, we're still in a denial phase. So that is a different way of addressing it. But this one is for those who understand they have addiction and who understand that this addiction is affecting them adversely. So one thing that is important, of course, meditation, going to yoga, going to therapy, all of these things are great, but remember, those are tools. And tools without main ingredient, we just learned that they're not that effective. So in order for those tools to be effective, you gotta ask yourself, what is my main ingredient? What is it that is causing me to have that emotional spiral, to have that emotional constancy? What is it that making me feel the need to be addicted to whatever I am addicted at? As simple as it is, the easiest way and the fastest and most reliable way that you could address this issue is to just sit down right before you do the thing that causing you to have addiction and write down what is it that went to your mind. Let's say I'm addicted to pornography. Before watching porn, I'm going to write down the next time, I'm going to write down what was it that I'm doing? What emotion did I have? That's it. I'm going to go do my thing. And then after I'm done, I'm going to go back to my note and I'm going to write down how I feel. Let's say I'm addicted to smoking weed. I'm going to have the same thing. Same write down. I'm addicted to drinking alcohol. Same thing. Write down. Once you have this and once you do this for a little bit of a time, let's say a week, let's say two, over time, this little note that you made, these are the key for your success. These are the key that tells you you are on the right path that tells you the path that you need to take. What is it? How is it that these things is making you feel? How is it that you feel before it? And how is it that your body, yourself, responds to it? Now, once you have this, then you could use the tools that is available to you to support yourself in making the best barbecue on the planet. And sometimes, sometimes we need extra support and that's okay. Think about it, a football game. Everyone on the game knows exactly what's going on. Every single player knows exactly what they're doing, what position they're playing, where do they need to go and where do they need to be. That's it, everybody knows. But regardless, there is always a coach on the side telling people 
where to go, yelling at them what to do next, what to expect, where to hide, where to run. So seeking help is not that big of a deal, it's not a big of a problem because at times, even though we might be the best, but we still need the extra support. So if you feel like you need the extra support, seek out help. There is a lot of places that are offering help to you and are available to you all the time. I hope you liked it. First step, addiction doesn't have to hold you back. Addiction is something that you can get through and you can pass through it by taking one step at a time. And your step starts today.